What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA SAG. And guys, I didn't do a video yesterday because I was busy, basically it was a family day for me, one of uh, the very few number of family days. And uh, for now, I have to say that we have several quite interesting and important news. First of all, I will show you very important statements that uh, was made by Donald Trump. And uh, I have to say that uh, his promises uh, are very intriguing in regards to the potential relief for the MMTLP saga. On top of that, I will show you that we are potentially about to see a new FOIA request that uh, will disclose some sensitive information that uh, might definitely help us uh, to push our case even further. On top of that, uh, I will show you how FINRA violated their own rules and you can see these facts even in uh, one of their documents, not uh, in different documents, but uh, in one document. On top of that, uh, I will show you that the fight against illegal activity for now is on the very next level and it is uh, much more important than it ever been and uh, I will show you what I'm talking about. But for now, let's uh, continue with the news and before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the, and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, let me show you this tweet that was uh, uh, reposted by John Bolder that was published by Jang Sevi and she refers to the uh, tweet uh, to the uh, basically speech of Donald Trump and let me show you that on Bitcoin conference 2024 Donald Trump declares let me quote to this in details the United, the United States uh, will be the crypto capital of the planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world I will immediately order the Treasury Department and uh, other federal agencies to cease and desist all steps towards the creation of a central banking digital currency. There will uh, never be a CBDC while I am President of the United States. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. And guys, this uh, promise uh, is very important for us because we know that one of the major wrongdoers from the authority side is definitely Gary Gensler. But take a look right here. A lot of people uh, started to speculate uh, who will be the next uh, person who uh, will uh, be on this post, basically. And uh, Travis wrote this. You fire Gary Gensler. Who you have left? Hester Pierce, you definitely don't want her as the head of the SEC. And the Wall Street whistleblower guy published this tweet uh, with one of uh, uh, just one emoji. It is a direct hit. And they have to say that uh, a lot of people think that uh, there is no other candidates uh, rather than uh, Esther Pierce. But guys, let me explain you some details. If uh, someone gets to the office uh, and uh, this person, in our case, potentially, it will be Donald Trump. Definitely, he will bring his team uh, to the key uh, posts of uh, the major authorities. And guys, believe me, Esther Pierce will not replace Gary Gensler if Donald Trump uh, fires him. And uh, definitely, this uh, might be quite important step towards the resolution, because if uh, some crucial person uh, from authorities and Gary Gensler, in my opinion, is one of the key people who uh, covers uh, all of the wrongdoers, I think uh, with his resignation, we will see a major breakthrough, not only in our case, uh, but in other uh, illegal activity in other cases of illegal activity on the market as well. On top of that, guys, if you take a look uh, on a bigger picture, Unusual Wells uh, posted uh, this uh, tweet on July 26. Uh, he said, Kamala Harris would absolutely, absolutely no doubt about it, be good for the stock market and American business, Jim Cramer has said. And guys, uh, this is uh, on a bigger scale if Donald Trump uh, loses uh, the race uh, to the presidency. Uh, potentially, uh, from the Democrat side, uh, it will be Kamala Harris, who potentially might be the next president of the United States of America. And guys, uh, you know that Jim Cramer is the person who even has uh, his own inverse uh, decision uh, ETF. 
And guys, I have a lot of doubts that uh, she will win the race, uh, but uh, definitely we have uh, to know that uh, uh, some people might bring uh, very good news uh, to the stock market and some people might do completely opposite. And this is the risks uh, of uh, the stock market in general and this is the risk of uh, the investing on this stock market. On top of that, guys, take a look right here. We have a strong feeling that a lot of wrongdoers are extremely scared right now because of uh, the Donald uh, Trump uh, recent actions. And one of these uh, person is definitely Ken Griffin. And let me quote you uh, the tweet that was uh, published by Meta News. And uh, uh, Meta News wrote, Ken Griffin and hedge funds are getting nervous that Donald Trump might take office again. Naked shorted alert. Donald Trump comments uh, against Ken. Ken Griffin, Citadel, what a guy he is. Where the hell is he? He's trying to hide uh, some of his money. Look, uh, he doesn't want to stand up uh, where the hell is Ken. Patrick Byrne, former CEO of our stock, uh, states if Donald Trump takes office, he will uh, have a spotlight in the new administration to prevent counterfeit shares with fixing stock settlement and eliminating uh, the bad actors from the stock market. The former CEO is confident that he will have a voice in the new administration trying to help eliminate naked shorting. Ken Griffin is openly against Donald Trump, uh, uh, VP pick uh, J.D. Vance. Wonder why? Uh, J.D. Vance uh, issued a letter to Gary Gensler regarding MMTLP, which allegedly has hundreds of millions uh, counterfeit shares. And let me show you all this letter. You can find it, for example, on Busy Brand's uh, Twitter account. Uh, and just six hours ago, he wrote, For anyone who thinks that MMTLP is not a serious matter, even President Donald Trump's VP pick uh, J.D. Vance thinks it is. The nefarious acts that continue every day in the stock market under Gar Gensler may one day hit a uh, home for many that are not involved in the MMTLP fiasco. And this is uh, this letter, as you can see, it was written on September 26th of uh, last year. And J.D. Wayne uh, signed uh, this uh, letter and uh, they uh, and he basically signed it uh, with Mike Krupa. Definitely, it is a very good sign that uh, at least we have this letter on the table. And uh, uh, not if, but when, in my opinion, when Donald Trump takes the office. Definitely, this will be a huge milestone uh, for the entire stock market. And in this case, all of the wrongdoers, and Ken Griffin is uh, one of the major of them, will uh, definitely be forced to close their illegal activity. So, let me quote you further. Uh, J.D. Vance, uh, so Vance also stated, President Trump's vision is so simple and yet so powerful. We are done, ladies and gentlemen, cantering to Wall Street. We will commit to the working man. Seems like Ken Griffin does have something to hide. David News, the CEO of Donald Trump Media Group, uh, DJT, publicly addressed naked shorting and counterfeit shares and alleged that Citadel, Ken Griffin and other hedge funds and market uh, makers are responsible for the legal shorting of their stock. David Nunes and the company DJT is currently investigating any wrongdoings and wrote a letter to Nasdaq, SEC, Congress, Attorney State Generals and DOJ regarding naked shorting. To social CEO, you, Ken Griffin, aren't going to screw all with us and we are going to come after you. Ken Griffin's response, David News is a proverbial loser who tries to blame naked short selling for his falling stock price. News is exactly the type of person Donald Trump would have fired uh, on the appearance. Uh, if he worked for Citadel Securities, we would uh, fire him as ability and integrity are at the center of everything we do. If Donald Trump takes the office, it looks uh, like him and his administration will tackle hedge funds market makers and bad actors and help eliminate the counterfeit shares and naked shorting issue occurring in outer US markets. Retweet to spread the war. And guys, definitely Ken Griffin is scared to death because of uh, this uh, uh, potential upcoming events and uh, he tries uh, to uh, protect himself and his company. And uh, he, in my opinion, pays a lot of money right now to 
uh, push the Donald Trump uh, activity down. And that is why we are witnessing these uh, actions right now. And that's it. that is why our case uh, is just one of the cases uh, that uh, uh, is happening on the market and that should be resolved in the upcoming uh, uh, months. So let me show you another news that is directly related to MMTLP saga. Costas wrote this. Uh, he published it uh, just uh, a couple of days ago and he said, any MMTLP friendly FOIA lawyers interested in reviewing something for me, please DM. It's been 19 months. How long are they going to keep saying? We have uh, confirmed with Division of Enforcement staff that the underlying investigation and enforcement proceeding from which you seek records is still active and ongoing. And guys, FOIA request is another tool, basically, which allows us uh, to receive sensitive information from authorities. And we have uh, to use the uh, we have to use any possibility how we can have uh, this sensitive information and FOIA request is definitely one of them. Unfortunately, uh, the only successful FOIA request that was uh, granted by authorities uh, was made uh, back, uh, back in 2023, in March of 2023, if I remember it correct. And uh, these FOIA, several FOIA letters uh, were the base of several lawsuits uh, we, and these lawsuits were definitely a pain in the butt of uh, the authorities and for now all authorities uh, uh, don't want uh, to see any more information that might be disclosed by FOIA requests but at the same time they can do nothing in order to prevent us to ask these requests. So let me show you another quite uh, interesting update. The fight uh, continues, basically. Marvin Basile uh, reposted the tweet that was originally published by Naked Truth uh, in Foreign and Profit Organization. And uh, here is uh, the news. Uh, SEC charges Andrew Left and Citron Capital for 20 million fraud scheme. Uh, Boca Red and Short Seller used bite and switch tactics to, make, to mislead investors. And uh, we know that, uh, and basic, basically I remember that Mark Basile about a year ago, uh, said in his Twitter account that uh, these uh, companies who make uh, this uh, type of uh, short sellers report are nothing else but uh, tools in hands of uh, the short sellers themselves. And uh, for example, uh, Citron Capital is one of these companies. And uh, another company, in my opinion, uh, is uh, Capybara Research. And we have plenty of them who are trying to benefit out of uh, the uh, actions that are suppressing the price of uh, underlying stocks and definitely it is a very unpleasant actions and we have to fight against this activity as well on top of that guys take a look uh, on this tweet christian chalice you wrote it uh, just uh, um, several hours ago and on reposted it uh, seven markets uh, seven market makers including citadel and virtu are waiting to see if uh, northwest uh, biotherapeutics can move ahead with uh, the its lawsuit and force them into discovery and guys uh, citadel and virtu are two companies uh, that allegedly were involved in the uh, naked shorting activity that is related to mglp shares and because of uh, the northwest biotherapeutics uh, a case uh, we might uh, see another path to the resolution how we can uh, force the wrongdoers to expose themselves and this will definitely help us uh, on the grand scheme of things so let me quote you further northwest uh, biotherapeutics uh, has a promising brain cancer vaccine the company has accused the firms uh, of repeating spoofing by using their trading platforms to place tens of millions uh, of orders uh, to sell nwbo that they had no intention of fulfilling. The judge is expected to rule soon on the defendant's uh, motion uh, to dismiss. I've posted this article before, but uh, pay close attention to what the Financial Times writes at the end. Judge Stan wrote uh, that the fact uh, NWBO did not specify uh, what algorithmic uh, trading programs uh, were used by defendants to execute their schemes uh, or how they were used was not uh, an impediment to its case. Uh, it's, uh, it is hard to imagine how any spoofing case uh, would survive with motion to dismiss stage if facts solely within the defendant's knowledge were required to be set uh, forth in the complaint, he added. 
In other words, if Citadel Securities and its uh, ilk are to beat this case and prevent a string of uh, copycat suits, they will probably have to give the rest of us more of a peek behind the curtain. Who tries to kill a company that can help patients uh, with the most aggressive form of brain cancer? And guys, uh, as you can see on this example, it is not only related to the company itself, but if the company is trying to find a way how they can help uh, patients uh, to fight against uh, the most aggressive form of brain cancer, why in the world they are still uh, trying uh, to suppress uh, uh, their activity and why in the world they are trying to push uh, the company down? It doesn't make sense and it raises a lot of questions uh, from the humanity point of view. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MHLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm bad.